Hey guys, it's Mr. Reckless here. The long overdue video, my 2014 loadout. So we'll start from the top, go to the bottom, front to back. Uh, up on my head, I have my uh, my old school dye beanie. Usually wearing that. Maybe it's my schmigschmam or my scarf. But above all, always with my protection, a rocket dye i3, customized with a cyclone mic fan. And that's it for this part. Start the rest. All right, so my my uh, base layer is a digital Marpat, woodland, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't care. I like it. It's been my favorite camouflage, and I play indoors, so I don't really need to be flashy. I don't need multicam. My main firearm is the uh, 1911 and a carbine frame. If you want to know more about it, check out the video on it. I'm going to ditch each piece because it's hot in here. Now uh, my main sidearm, my good old trusty 1911 Kimber style, with some extras. And when I really need to, I'll pull out my good old full auto little bird. Pew, 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 pew. Now for the, uh, the carbine and the Kimber, I have eight, nine mags for it scattered across as well as for a uh, little bird I have the extra compact mag down here the uh, the condor vest um, mag pouches are usually voodoo um, soft condor holster tornado um, let me see I got my butterfly knife got my fancy bow tie because we all want to look good got my name tag let's see uh, UTG pistol belt. Uh, on the back, I've got a Cat Airsoft extra large dump pouch, as well as an ambidextrous Glock style holster. Um, let's see, inside here is just a bunch of uh, CO2. I can't even get it open right now. Uh, that's for, basically for counterweight. Keep about 10 of them in there. Also with my uh, Lights Out Motherfucker patch, I have a med pack pouch with uh, my Midland XT1000 in there that I run coming up through here past my awesome Halo 2 patch. Uh, that's that for the vest. Not too expensive, slightly, but it gets the job done. Alright, I uh, don't want to forget my gloves. Mechanics gloves, Impact. I've been wearing these ones for years. It's almost time to get a new pair just because I do every year. Um, Mr. Reckless name tag patch. Got it off of Amazon from a great company. Can't remember the name. Who gives a shit? My American flag patch on the reverse. My Mandalorian patch. Gotta have that. As well as what's down below. Alright, I almost forgot, I carry myself Thunderbee, and uh, knee pads from uh, Rothko, uh, same company as my my pants and my shirt, and then just good old fashioned Brahma boots with some nice insoles. Okay, so this hasn't been my loadout for the entire year, as I've said, I think this was it for the majority of 2014. I've already got a couple of new guns, a couple of changes, things to rearrange. Uh, all in all, it's not built for speed soft. It's not just how I play. I got nothing against that. This is what I like. This is what I wanted to do. So I followed it. Now, all in all, it probably weighs about 25 pounds extra on top of my original weight. I'm a rather larger guy. I'm 5'11, 210 pounds. Got a 40 inch waist, the 45 inch gut, lots of cheeseburgers in there. It's all set up, customized pistols and all, roughly close to a thousand dollars maybe, give or take. Uh, so if you have a setup that you want to do, think it out first, because I have a ton of extra stuff that, that I bought just to start with and do this and do that. And I probably could have saved myself a couple hundred bucks. So if you like it,
comment, subscribe. If you got a question, ask it. Well, see you guys out there.